Not good. This game included too many sex. My child was saving stuff after signing up, saying, I will kill all the noobs, and noobs should kill themselves. Also, when I viewed my child's PC, there was gun games. Fucking nasty people on this website. When I join a game, I see people humping me from the back and pussy. If you want your kid to play this, then I say no. Curse words are everywhere, and there's 8-year-olds thinking they're 10 years older than what they're actually. Disgusting. This game has been resently outlawed in our home. It's extremely addicting, caused antisocial behavior, affects the ability to keep time, and I believe was very damaging to our 10-year-old son. His personality changed. He began lying and sneaking time to play. When he wasn't able to play, he'd sneak YouTube and watch others play. He is currently detoxing from everyone and everything related to it. The absolute worst decision was inviting it to our home in life. A hundred times worse than Minecraft. This game is also very expensive. Upgrades are available for real money, but the exchange rate is way off. The chat feature is also concerning. Many people asking for login info and trying to scam others. If you invite Roblox into your home, please closely monitor. Our son, because a completely different person. My kid no longer believe in Jesus because of this game. My son's account was a stolen somehow, and the developers expect me to be able to give them the numbers from a card that was de redeemed months ago. Definitely do not let your kids talk you into purchasing Builders Club for them. The account will be stolen and the developers will do nothing. So recently, I was playing Roblox I joined in 2011. This guy runs into me asking me to kiss me. At first, I was shocked because normally Roblox do not allow online daters and for some reason they decide to target the people who look better. Like better clothing and stuff. Carry on to this. Some areas on Roblox you do not want your kids to be talking to people you don't meet like I have tried experiences in this way before. And kids on Roblox do not know what they are doing. I had one friend of my friends list who basically couldn't trust me because of her dad talking to me, thinking I was a stranger, when I didn't do anything wrong so far. This game site isn't safe anymore as it used to be, so if your child runs into something like that, I wrote above, please check. As a older player, seeing Roblox from good game to pedos playground. If you try to report the money retards admins will not read as oh dears aka pedos and kid pedos by Roblox which makes Roblox rich. To be fair and hold an honest argument, it teaches early coding and business but it needs to stop removing and start adding good features. Roblox used to be fun, but now what? The players call other people's noobs. The players hack a lot and cheat. These players online date. What is Roblox? An online dating game? A hacking game? A bullying game? There are many bad things about this game. As I have stated above, I don't like these players. The next thing I don't like is expensive things. They need- they even remove ticks. No wonder the creators really need money right now. When you join Roblox, you have a noob character. You look so ugly that in fact, players will call you noob, ugly person, and other insults. The only way to change this is to change your character. You require Robux to do this, sadly. That is evil. How about Minecraft? They allow you to make your own character for free. Also, people in Minecraft don't bully people with a noob character. Although Roblox is free, it allows hackers, online daters, and bullies to play. Update. Roblox is not a kid-friendly game. I mean, seriously? When your character dies, it breaks, looks violent. Imagine a real-life person being ripped to pieces. Next, the games are made by all types of players. They are gun games, online dating games, horror games, and hacker games. Don't play this evil, preposterous game. Make it that it's not a player limit, eh? Make it any number of players can play and make it so you can play with your friends and one person does or get in and you're trying but the dumb game is full, please fix that. No, no. I'm wondering why people even like this game. Like seriously, you can get banned for trying to upload an Ugandan Knuckles photo. Hello homies and whatever this review is. First of all, and not flirt of all, the report system is broken. Just like all other games, the report system never works. Here is an example of how the report system works. Step 1. Report is sent. Step 2. Report reaches the moderators. Step 3. Report is ignored instantly because the moderators are bots and they can't read the report and decide whether to ban the player or not because they ain't got no brain. Disgrace to America. This game is a horrific example of how the Obama administration tries to turn your kids into communists. This game encourages you to create a world that everyone can you use and you get nothing for it. Everything must be shared. 
I once saw my daughter on the game talking to a person who was tell her why communism is a good idea. Disgraceful. And of course, this is all Obama's fault thanks to him letting the game be released in by America. She also told me she was a dating on the site. Disgraceful. What if he is grooming her? And all this game was created by Satanus and Obama allowed to, to reach our kids. Hashtag boycott Roblox. My kids love playing Roblox. Every afternoon they come home to play. I was happy and they were getting along till I saw their screens. My daughter's in-game avatar had its legs spread open as another player had been humping over her. Unbelievable. I asked her to shut the game off and she did. I later went on to look at the game. They told me it was child friendly and so did Roblox themselves. Kid friendly is not a way to describe this game. Being sexually insulted in a game, but even worse, kids acting out as 18 plus year olds. I was aware there were predators on this game, but never expected them to have sex in a game. As a parent, this is freighting to know your kids have an interest for this kind of game. Wanting to learn more, I created my own account and purchased 1k Roblox so I wouldn't be considered a noob. The first game I went to was awful. Digital Lego characters carrying around guns, shooting people. Not only that, but you could rob banks. Terrible influence for young children such as my own. There was also a lot of profanities going on in chat. I saw a child in game cyberbullying another. They told them, noob give cash, give it bitch. Idiot ugly noob give money. Bitch equals bitch. I understand Roblox doesn't want this sort of behavior in the game, but they haven't done anything to stop it. I tested it myself and there was a safe chat. But it doesn't stop people from finding alternate ways to cuss at others. On top of guns, virtual sexual assault, there was online dating. I went in game and a guy had asked me out. Following up by that, he told me to open my legs. I do not suggest this to anyone. Kids can even buy virtual items and Robux using real US dollars. Children do not understand billions, so them seeing a price of an objected means nothing. 20k Robux for $100 is most likely free for them. Do not let your kids play this game. Roblox 2006, super fun, very good, nothing bad happening. 2018, people having sex, people hacking, people insulting kids. This is why Minecraft was better than Roblox on Would You Rather. My daughter's account was hacked. Roblox customer service rep called my daughter a liar and told me it wasn't hacked while I was literally staring at someone playing under her account name. Tons of money lost. This company protects the criminals? Roblox. Roblox is the worst game ever. Roblox has many problems like pornography games and bugs and sometimes it's laggy, so this game is suck. And also, to get Robux, you need to buy it with a debit card to get so this game is really full of sh**. Do not let your kids play this. There are many inappropriate things. Porn, sexual references, death threats, suicide threats, rumors, stalkers and hackers. There are many bad people. My account got stolen and I paid over 500 US dollars for Builders Club. Waste of money and constantly getting hacked. Terrible game. Hi, I am 10 years old and I was playing Roblox when I saw a game that said it would give me free Robux and it asked for my password so I put it in and a while later I couldn't enter my password and I knew I was scammed and hacked. The rules state no online day or a ban will happen. They don't care, they just support Ice Arm online daters because they buy Robux to look good. Make a true and then it's up in your face about the